Hi, I'm Andy. Welcome to my workshop. Today we are building two throat plate inserts, one for my table saw and one for my miter saw. What is a throat plate insert? It is a zero clearance insert that keeps small cutoffs from dropping down in the blade and clogging up dust collection, shooting back in your face. Sounds good to me, so that's what we're gonna go do. So here's where the throat plate is going to sit. Um, I'm gonna take out these screws so the throat plate will sit on these tabs. I'm gonna use these calipers to measure the thickness um, for it to sit flush with the top of the table. Okay, so I'm gonna use this oak. Right now it's uh, three quarters of an inch thick. I need a quarter of an inch. So I'm gonna attempt to go resaw it um, on the bandsaw. Here is the quarter inch piece of oak. This should be enough stock for both throat plates. So here is the table saw throat plate. I am going to trace this and then we'll go back to the bandsaw and cut it out. I'm gonna leave it a little big so I can sand it down to size. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my the bandsaw up to the, the fence to the width of this and then I'm going to rip this straight down that way I have the straight edge and all I have to do is the ends and the corners. I had to take the blade out in order to test. For some reason, this blade would not retract all the way down. So everything seems to be good fit, initial fit, side to side, lengthwise. Now there are these two magnets inset in here. I took it over to the drill press, uh, nothing big, just put a couple small, there you go, dimples uh, in there. Look at that. Fits so smooth. So I put the riving knife back on, and the original way that I was gonna do it was cut one, one way and then flip it this way and cut this and cut the other way. I just don't feel safe doing it. And I'm just gonna use this plain old little hand pull saw and take my time and cut the rest of it out. One problem with this one, a job site saw, when you initially turn it on, there seems to be a little bit of torque and a little bit of rock. Um, so what was happening, and you can't see it, but there are teeth marks, even though I cut the groove, as I was raising it, everything is in motion and in a straight line. Well, when I turn it off and uh, restart it, um, that flex, the teeth dig into the side just a little bit, and then they readjust. It's just an initial thing, but that can be slightly slightly dangerous so what I'm gonna do is just a few probably four holes um, in the top of this and then I'm going to use the countersink and use the screws so that when that if that flex happens it won't come out at all just something a little extra because um, right now gravity is just holding it okay so there is the traditional way of making a zero clearance throat plate uh, with a bandsaw using the original throat plate as a template. So now I'm going to attempt to make this throat plate for the miter saw, um, but we're gonna attempt to do that on the CNC.
Here's the original of the miter saw, and here is the one I just cut on the CNC. Uh, let me tell you, this was not as easy as you might think it would be. You know, oh, just throw it on the CNC. First of all, you have to measure this thing and get precise measurements. Then you have to put it in to your CAD program, and then you have to cut it out. But anyways, we've got it here. It's roughly the same size. Definitely not as good a fit. It's too small. And then something I failed to do, which is going to be a problem, I think. I assumed that the thickness was the same from the table saw to the miter saw. I'm gonna have to mill up another piece of oak and to this thickness and retry this. Fits a lot better the second time. Now I am going to put these holes in there, countersink them, put the screws back in, and we should be good to go. My shop needed those upgrades terribly for a long time. Finally took the time, uh, honestly a few hours to knock them both out. The traditional way, the very first way that I did it with the bandsaw was much more efficient. So when you're talking specific measurements and modeling and tool paths and tools, it is much simpler and on this project to just use a bandsaw, use the original throat insert as a template and then cut it out on the bandsaw and that is the simplest quickest way you can do it probably in under an hour um, every saw is different so be sure to study your saw and figure out what would work best for you um, i had to make a few little changes here and there on mine just to get it to fit but these are things that are throwawayable in an hour or two you can have a new safe cleaner cutting um, tool as always thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this project uh, if you did or it gave you an idea for something, I would love to see it down in the comments. So get out in the shop, build something, and I'll see you next time I'm building something. See ya.